Hey everyone, it's Epoch here, and welcome to my entry to this week's uh, comic book cover challenge set by Alan at Comic Collector Geek. Uh, this week's challenge is crossover covers, so I've picked out 10 covers from my personal collection that feature a crossover of characters for you to, to check out. So let's have a look just now. In number 10 this week, we have Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number 2. This is uh, cover B, um, and this is a crossover with uh, Elvira and Edgar Allan Poe here in the background. And so I just think that was a, a fun one where she, um, in this story, she kind of she kind of meets uh, Edgar Allan Poe. And um, so that's Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number two. In number nine this week, we have Gen 13, issue 13B. And this is a crossover between Gen 13 and Bone, who, who's here on the cover. Just for us, an uh, interesting uh, crossover. It wasn't too... Um, Two teams or, or two two sets of characters that I'd expect to cross over. But yeah, so that's Bone on the cover of uh, Gen 13, issue 13B. The number eight spot this week goes to Grumble vs. The Goon, uh, which was a free comic book day issue that came out a number of years ago where we have the characters uh, from Grumble who are kind of hopping dimensions and they could come into the, the world of The Goon here and it's a, a fun little teamed up story between the two of them. So I just thought it was a wee fun one from Free Comic Book Day a few years ago. That's Grumble versus the Goon. At number 7 this week we have Superman Gen 13 number 1. Uh, which was a free issue miniseries. It was written by Adam Hughes. Although there was uh, no artwork by him on the interiors or, or the covers. I think he may have done the variant covers. But this is the, the main cover um, for Superman Gen 13 number 1. Um, a story where kind of Gen 13 take a trip to Metropolis and... Uh, Caitlin gets kind of a, a bad knock on the head and she ends up think she, thinking she's super girl, <laughs> uh, kind of causing a, a, um, unknown damage uh, uh, throughout Metropolis and uh, the actual super girl getting a wee bit annoyed about that. So it's a, a fun little mini series. so I wanted to share that here today and that's uh, Superman Gen 13 number one. And at number six this week we have Cyberfrog Unforgettable Tales number four, uh, which is a full colour reprint of uh, Cyberfrog vs Creed from Harris Comics in 1997 um, so this is a so it's just a reprint of that so it's a crossover between uh, Ethan Van Skyver's uh, Cyberfrog character and uh, Trent Kanuga's Creed uh, character and it's a wee adventure here so like I said the original version is in black and white came out in 97 and this version is uh, like a fully um, coloured version uh, coloured by uh, Kyle Ritter um, and this is a prismatic cover as well, which is kind of cool. So that's uh, Cyberfrog, Unforgettable Tales, number four. The number five spot this week goes to Harvey and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica, number one. Uh, this is the first issue of a, a six-issue miniseries. Uh, it's quite fun where uh, Harley and Ivy kind of end up in uh, Riverdale and start making uh, some trouble there. Uh, which it was just kind of fun. So issue one here is a Amanda Connor cover. Uh, as you know, I love Amanda Connor's art, so... Another one for the collection. Um, all six issues are quite uh, quite fun. Um, I did show off uh, issue four in the Harley Quinn uh, challenge video. So if you want to check that out, you can see that there. Um, but yeah, I just thought this was a fun one. Kind of mimicking that kind of Archie, that kind of classic Archie image where uh, you have Archie. We'd normally you'd have Archie and Betty Veronica kind of sharing the, the ice cream sundae there. But here <laughs> instead you have um, him sharing it with Harley and Ivy and kind of Betty and Veronica looking not too impressed in the background. So it's just quite a fun one. So that's Harley and Ivy meet Betty and Veronica number one. And at number four we have the She Daredevil uh, one shot. Uh, which is a meeting between uh, She from Crusade Comics and Daredevil from Marvel Comics. And there was a second issue as well that was called Daredevil She. Um, but yeah, so this is the crossover between She and Daredevil, uh, written by uh, the creator of She, uh, Billy Tucci, and covers drawn by him as well. It's a homage to another cover, but I'm not quite sure which cover it is. But yeah, just uh, two cool characters. Two characters I really enjoy uh, meeting up together in She, Daredevil, number one. And at number three this week, we have Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica, number two, uh, which is the Dan Parent cover, so cover D. Um, for this whole series, it was only cover D that was fine because those are my uh, favourite ones. I didn't want to show cover one because uh, Alan showed that in his video, and I also showed that cover previously myself uh, way back in the summer when we did the um, bikini uh, covers Friday challenge. So if you want to, to see that, then check out Alan's video or my bikini video. And I'd also done number three of this series in the Floating Heads challenge week as well, which you can check out. So I thought this time I'd show uh, Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica number two, just for some different 
And there we have uh, uh, kind of Red Sonia and Vampirella out of place, kind of walking down the corridors of uh, Betty and Veronica's school there, which is just things kind of funny. Um, so this is a really fun series. Every issue is uh, quite fun, and I really love uh, these covered Ds, so uh, Dan Parent's covers, which are covered D. Um, so yeah, Red Sonia and Vampirella meet Betty and Veronica number two. The number two spot this week goes to Dark Horse Presents number 36, which was the first crossover between uh, the Aliens and the Predators. Uh, so yeah, first, uh, first uh, Alien versus Predator in Dark Horse uh, Presents number 36. Um, Aliens uh, had appeared previously and so had Predator, but this was the first time that they, they'd kind of crossed over together and then went on to produce the kind of Aliens versus Predator miniseries from this. And then, of course, we've had films of that as well, and uh, video games and all sorts of stuff. Uh, but this was the, the first time it happened here. Uh, Alien vs. Predator crossover in Dark Horse Presents number 36. And my number one pick this week goes to Usagi Yojimbo number 10, uh, which is just a cover that I've, I've always really loved. And it's a crossover between uh, Usagi Yojimbo and uh, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So here on the cover we have Usagi uh, and Leonardo here from the Turtles, uh, just uh, kind of about to get into combat, it looks like, from the cover. Um, so yeah, it's just a cover I've always really liked, um, and that's why it's my number one pick this week for the crossover challenge. So that's Usagi Yojimbo number 10. So that was my entry into this week's comic book cover challenge set by Alan at Comic Collector Geek. Uh, this week's theme was crossover covers. Um, so if you'd like to take part, then uh, just pick out 10 uh, covers from your personal comic book collection that shows off uh, crossovers between different characters. They could be within the, the same universe or between different universes or just whatever. Just uh, 10 covers that show a, a cool crossover and just make a video. Use the hashtags, uh, hashtag Friday Comic Challenge and hashtag Crossover Cover. And that way everyone in the community can, can get a look at the, the different videos that people have made. And there's already a few a few different ones up there with some cool covers. So you never know. You might find a, a cover in there that you just have to have for your own personal collection. Um, if you'd like to check out some of my previous entries into the comic book cover challenge. And you can click on this playlist. It's linked here at the side. And otherwise I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.